This video describes the Winpack client computer setup. We will explain the installation of the Winpack client and basic configuration details of the client. This video helps you to get started with the Winpack client computer for your system. Winpack client's user interface. The user interface helps Winpack operators to communicate with the access control server. The user interface can be installed on any other computer connected to the same network. And also you can run several client computers and access the single database server simultaneously. The number of client computers depends on the license type that you procure Winpack. Without any ado, let's start the video. Let's watch how to install a Winpack client on any computer. Open the Winpack setup folder, or insert the Winpack CD, into the CD-ROM drive. An installation browser opens. If the browser does not open, Browse to the CD folder and run the setup.exe file by right-clicking on Setup. Then select Run as Administrator. Click on Run. Once the user clicks on the setup file, the installation wizard will open. And the welcome screen appears. Click Next to continue the installation. The Winpack information screen appears. Then click Next to verify that all the services are stopped. Then click Next. The Honeywell Access Systems End User License Agreement screen appears. Read the license agreement details and click Accept. Then type your name, company and CD key details. The CD key should be the same as the Winpack server, which will be available on the front cover of the Winpack CD case, or the user can take it from the server. If the CD key is correct, you will see a message on screen that the CD key for Winpack has been determined to be valid. Click on OK to continue. Enter the password for the Winpack Windows user for the client computers. Make sure the password should be minimum 8 characters long and should not contain space. Click Next to continue. Winpack Deployment Options screen appears. Select the deployment type as a custom additional workstation, communication server. Then click Next. The Winpack setup type screen appears. Select user interface only, and click Next. The system displays the Winpack destination path screen. To change the path, click Browse and navigate to the destination folder, for the application. Then click Next. The Winpack destination path screen appears displaying the language file path. To change the path, click Browse and navigate to the destination folder for the file. Click Next. The Winpack destination path screen appears displaying the sound and wallpaper file paths. To change the path, click Browse and navigate to the destination folder for each file. Click Next. A dialog box appears prompting you to create shortcuts on your desktop. Click Yes to place icons on your desktop. The following screen is displayed with a summary of the installation information. If you want to change any setting, click Back, or else, click on Install. Once the user clicks on the Install, the Winpack components, and the user interface starts the installation. As you can see on my screen, it may take 10 to 15 minutes for the complete process. Please wait till installation is completed. After completing the installation, the following screen appears. Click Yes, I want to restart my computer now, to restart your computer after installation. Or, click No, I will restart my computer later to complete the installation without restarting your computer. Click Finish to complete the installation. Once the installation is completed, make sure you restart the computer, and log in into Winpack Windows user which was created while we install the Winpack Access Control software. Once the user logs into the Winpack user, you will have two icons on the desktop for Winpack, that is the Winpack User Interface, and Winpack System Manager. Here I want to make this computer as a client for my Winpack server. Let me show you my Winpack server which is on the same network. As you can see I have connected to my Winpack server through remote desktop. Here I have some controllers and doors which should appear in my client computer. 
So minimize this remote desktop, and let me make setting for user interface in the workstation, or set up the client for WinPack, in order to control the system from my computers. Open WinPack System Manager from desktop by dual clicking on its icon, the System Manager window appears, then click on the User Interface tab, and click Add. The System Manager Server Setup dialog box appears. Type a descriptive name to identify the database server from the list. Type the computer name, or IP address of the server in the node name field, in the database server area. Ensure that the RPC endpoint is the same as the default value. Under Database Archive, type the computer name, or IP address of the server, in the node name field. Ensure that the RPC endpoint is the same as the default value. Click OK. This enables you to start up the user interface with the new database server. Then click the RPC Security Options tab. Then under Client Server Communication Settings, click Work Group Environment, or click Domain Environment as per your server configuration. Then in IP address of current machine, optional, enter the IP address of the current machine. Click Apply. The selected environment is set. Then click OK to close the window. Once all the setting is completed, open WinPack User Interface by dual clicking its icon from the desktop. Log in into the WinPack by entering the same credentials which we use on the server. As you can see on my screen it's showing a warning that the currently same user has already logged from the WinPack user interface. It means the same user already logged into my server. However if you want to have a different user to be used for the WinPack client, you can create a separate user in the WinPack server. If you want to know how to create a new user in the WinPack software, please watch my upcoming videos on this channel. As of now click on OK to continue. As you can see, I have logged in into the WinPack from my client computer. I hope you understand how to set up your client computer for a WinPack server. Follow our channel for more updated videos on the WinPack access control system. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. For instant technical support, please join our membership.